Welcome back to our new video. Dr. Maria Nera, of the World Health Organization, WHO, told BBC News countries with high pollution levels, many in Latin America, Africa and Asia, should ramp up their preparations. Those with underlying pollution-related conditions have developed severe COVID-19 in countries with high levels. But medical professionals say it is too early to prove a direct relationship. We will be doing a map of most polluted cities based on our database to support national authorities in these regions so that they can prepare their epidemic response plan accordingly, Dr. Nera said. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, Cesar Bugawazan, of the Association for Respiratory Care Practitioners, said, in our preliminary data, almost all of the dead individuals in the country due to coronavirus had pre-existing conditions, most of them linked to air pollution. Air pollution already kills about 7 million people every year, the WHO says and more than 90% of the world's population live in places where air pollution exceeds its guideline limits, mostly in poor countries. Many of the affected countries are in South Asia, the Middle East, Sub-Saharan and North Africa, according to a World Bank report last year. Cities in Chile, Brazil, Mexico and Peru also have dangerous levels of air pollution, according to several WHO and United Nations reports to get more informative videos subscribe our YouTube channel and do not forget to share with family and friends.